Welcome to the Bugatti stand at the Geneva Motor Show 2018. Behind me is a new Chiron Sport. It doesn't have any more power because, let's face it, it doesn't need any more power. But this is all about getting an improved lap time around Nardo. So they're saying this car is five seconds quicker. How have they done that? Well, it's slightly lighter weight, 18 kilos. And you might think, well, 18 kilos, the thing weighs, you know, goodness knows what anyway. Surely that's not going to make an improvement. But the big saving they've made is in the wheels, so it's now three kilos of corner lighter just to these new lightweight wheels, which are actually more intricate than the closer you get to them. I'd expect them perhaps to be carbon, but they're, they're not, they're still, still alloy wheels. Weight saving elsewhere, well, we've got obviously lots of exposed carbon fiber, but the bits that are important, we've got lightweight rear glass. Uh, we've also got these very cool lightweight carbon fiber windscreen wipers. They're saying this is a world first having carbon fiber windscreen wipers, and they've used because obviously you can lay out carbon fibre to flex in certain ways, so they've got rid of parts by having this carbon arm sort of, which, oh, why wouldn't you have carbon arms in your windscreen wipers? Something I've never thought about. Underneath the body, there are also carbon anti-roll bars, front and rear, and not just the tubes themselves, but actually the fixings at the end, which is something they're saying hasn't really been done before. The big news, though, in terms of getting that lap time out of it, is that now we've got the dampers have been retuned. The spring rate stays the same, but the dampers have been retuned uh, to work with the lighter wheels. Uh, they've also changed the steering slightly, just by saying about 10%. They've also included uh, torque vectoring to help the car into the corner. It's a bit like the McLaren system first appeared in the F1 cars when um, he dropped the camera into the F1 car and you saw the third brake pedal. It's like an electronic version of that, braking an outside rear wheel into sharp corners just to help the car get in with more agility. They're saying the car hasn't changed at all though in terms of it's still very comfortable in its comfort mode and obviously will still do that enormous top speed. The price of all this? Well, it's another £150,000 on top of the already quite significant 2.5 million. And they're saying that if owners who've already got a Chiron would like to upgrade to the sports spec, then of course that is possible as well. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below.